Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we shall discuss the world economy and its components. At start we shall try to understand that what is economy and what are its major key components. How it works and how it is connected with countries' economies. I made this video with aim to provide a comprehensive analysis of the current world economy. Examining its major trends. Regional disparities. Potential future scenarios. We will discuss all the aspects in detail. But first if you like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So that you could find my next videos. The world economy in which the continents have the share portion of GDP. Asia 38%. North America 30%. Europe 24%. South America 4%. Africa 2%. Australia 2%. The largest stakeholders are US, China and European Union. The global growth rate is projected 2.1% in 2023. I have given some important global economy data in the end of my video. Let's discuss the world economy. The world economy has always been a complex and dynamic object. It always constantly evolving in response to a multitude of factors. Technological advancements. Geopolitical developments. Global trends. As we approach in the middle of 2023. It is crucial to assess the current state of the global economy and understand the key challenges and opportunities it presents. A big factor that affected the world economy is COVID-19. It adversely affected the economy of almost every country in the world. It caused a high inflationary effect in 2023 and onward. The global economy has witnessed a gradual recovery from the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2021, the world GDP registered a strong rebound. Fueled by fiscal stimulus measures, vaccination campaigns and pent-up consumer demand. However, this recovery has been uneven across countries and sectors. Advanced economies showing faster progress compared to emerging markets. Looking ahead, the International Monetary Fund IMF, projects global growth to reach 5.5% in 2022, driven by continued policy support, investment, and trade expansion. Nevertheless, several risks persist, including inflationary pressures supply chain disruptions, and the potential for new waves of COVID-19 infections. The ability to effectively manage these risks will be critical in sustaining and accelerating global economic growth. In the second part we shall highlight the global economy and interdependence. To understand the global economy, we shall take an example. Let's suppose there are three, three, countries, America, Russia, and, China. America produces wheat and sold to country Russia and China. Same like Russia and China produces rice and they sold it to America and vice versa. That means the global economy is interconnected and interdependence of economic activities. Systems across countries and regions around the world. It includes the production, consumption, and exchange of goods, services and resources on a global scale. In a global economy, nations engage in international trade and financial transactions. Allowing for the flow of goods, services, capital, and technology between countries. This interconnectedness is facilitated by advancements in transportation, communication, and technology, which have greatly reduced barriers to trade and investment. There are six components of global economy we can say the key elements of global economy. International trade. Financial flows. Exchange rates. Global supply chains. Economic interdependence. International institutions. Now let's discuss in detail what are they. The first component is international trade. This means countries engage in the exchange of goods and services across borders. This involves imports means goods and services brought into a country. And exports means goods and services sold to other countries. Trade agreements and organizations, such as the World Trade Organization WTO, help regulate and facilitate international trade. The second component is financial flows. Capital flows across borders in the form of foreign direct investment FDI, and portfolio investment. FDI involves companies investing in foreign countries to establish operations or acquire assets. While portfolio investment involves individuals and institutions investing in stocks, bonds, and other financial assets of foreign countries. The third component is exchange rates. Currencies are exchanged in the foreign exchange market, where their values relative to one another are determined. Exchange rates affect the competitiveness of countries' exports and imports and can impact trade balances and economic stability. The fourth component is global supply chains. Goods are produced in different steps and often spread across multiple countries, with different stages of production occurring in different locations. 
This allows companies to take advantage of comparative advantages, specialized inputs and reduce costs. Global supply chains have become increasingly complex and integrated. The fifth component is economic interdependence. Economic events in one country can have ripple effects across the globe. Financial crises, recessions, and economic policies implemented by one nation can impact other countries. Through trade channels, financial contagion, or changes in investor sentiment. The sixth component is international institutions. Organizations like the International Monetary Fund, IMF, World Bank, and regional development banks play a role in promoting economic cooperation, providing financial assistance, and offering policy advice to countries. They also work to address global economic challenges and imbalances. Understanding the global economy is essential because economic developments in one country can have far-reaching consequences for others. Economic indicators, such as GDP growth, inflation rates, and unemployment rates, are often analyzed at a global level to assess the overall health and performance of the global economy. The IMF published World Economic Outlook, on April 2023 Iraqi Recovery. The baseline forecast is for growth to fall from 3.4% in 2022 to 2.8% in 2023, before settling at 3.0% in 2024. Advanced economies are expected to see an especially pronounced growth slowdown, from 2.7% in 2022 to 1.3% in 2023. In a plausible alternative scenario with further financial sector stress, global growth declines to about 2.5% in 2023 with advanced economy growth falling below 1%. Global headline inflation in the baseline is set to fall from 8.7% in 2022 to 7.0% in 2023 on the back of lower commodity prices but underlying, core, inflation is likely to decline more slowly. Inflation's return to target is unlikely before 2025 in most cases. Earlier 2023 IMF published report on January 30, 2023 inflation peaking amid low growth. IMF projects that global growth will fall to 2.9% in 2023 but rise to 3.1% in 2024. The 2023 forecast is 0.2 percentage point higher than predicted in the October 2022 World Economic Outlook but below the historical average of 3.8%. Rising interest rates and the war in Ukraine continue to weigh on economic activity. China's recent reopening has paved the way for a faster-than-expected recovery. Global inflation is expected to fall to 6.6% in 2023 and 4.3% in 2024, still above pre-pandemic levels. According to the researchers the 2023 shall remain the recession period of global economy and it shall affect many businesses especially small business in the world. The third world countries shall affect due to their weak economic conditions and it shall take almost three years to get recovered these countries from recession. We will discuss the measures taken by advanced countries and challenges being faced. The advanced economies, such as the United States, European Union, and Japan, have experienced a robust recovery in recent months. Cooperative monetary policies, substantial government spending, and successful vaccination campaigns have contributed to their economic restoration. The United States, particularly has implemented large-scale infrastructure and social spending plans, aiming to stimulate job creation and address long-standing inequalities. However, inflationary pressures have arisen as a major concern, driven by supply chain disruptions, increased commodity prices, and labor shortages. Central banks in advanced economies face the challenge of maintaining price stability while supporting economic growth. Balancing these objectives will require careful monetary policy calibration and close coordination with fiscal authorities. The emerging markets face more challenging path to recovery. Many of these economies are grappling with structural vulnerabilities, high levels of debt, and limited fiscal space. Additionally, they are confronted with the adverse effects of inflation, capital outflows, and currency devaluation. China, a key driver of global growth, is experiencing a transition toward a more sustainable and consumption-driven economy. And it has implications for its trading partners and commodity exporting countries. To navigate these challenges, emerging markets need to implement structural reforms enhance productivity, diversify their economies, and attract foreign direct investment. Strengthening domestic institutions, improving governance, and investing in education and technology will be crucial in fostering sustainable growth. What will be the role of technology and the future of work? Technological advancements continue to reshape the global economy, presenting both opportunities and challenges. Automation, artificial intelligence, and digitalization are transforming industries, altering job markets, and disrupting traditional business models. 
The pandemic has accelerated these trends, as remote work, e-commerce, and telemedicine became integral parts of daily life. While technology-driven innovations can boost productivity and economic growth, they also pose risks, such as increased inequality and job displacement. Policymakers must prioritize reskilling and upskilling programs to equip workers with the necessary skills for the digital age. Furthermore, ensuring equitable access to technology and bridging the digital divide will be vital in promoting inclusive economic development. The role of climate change and sustainable development. Addressing climate change has emerged as a global imperative, with profound implications for the world economy. The urgency to transition to a low-carbon economy is driving significant investments in renewable energy, sustainable infrastructure, and green technologies. Governments and businesses are increasingly recognizing the economic benefits of sustainable practices. These were the measures being taken by the advanced countries and the same measures should be adopted by the underdeveloped countries. For the betterment of their country's economies. I hope now you could have better understanding about the world economy. At the end, if you like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So that you could find updates in time. Thank you.